Hello, my name is Sonia Hall. I have a master's in business administration with a specialization in healthcare management. I have a bachelor's degree in nursing. My nursing career spans over 21 years. I continue to serve as a bedside nurse at a magnet hospital in Salinas, California. I work for Kaiser Permanente in the Northern California region as a telecritical care nurse. I would like to thank the JBI for giving me this opportunity to share my commentary on the manuscript written by Hugh May Hong and other authors titled, Prevention of Needle Stick Injury Among Nurses in an Acute Care Ward of a Hospital, a Best Practice Implementation Project. Throughout my career, I have been fortunate in preventing a needle stick. There are so many emotions that could manifest for someone who has experienced a needle stick in the acute care setting. Life-changing is a word that comes to mind when I think of how a nurse would feel. The authors developed this project to identify barriers which lead to needle stick injuries and strategies which can be identified to prevent needle stick injuries in the acute care ward of a hospital in Taiwan. It was reported that the incidence rate of needle stick injuries was 5.6% in this hospital. According to the World Health Organization, more than 2 million occupational exposures to sharp injuries occur among 35 million healthcare workers annually. In Taiwan, from 2004 to 2010, an average cost per injury was 34,500 US dollars. On a global scale, the annual cost associated with needle stick injuries is estimated at $258 million. Needle stick injuries commonly occur during the drawing of blood, intravenous insertion, needle recapping, performing any procedure involving sharp medical devices. This is a known occupational risk for nurses, which could lead to infectious diseases, especially blood-borne viruses, such as human immunodeficiency virus, syphilis, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. Taiwan legislated on December 5, 2011, to stipulate that, starting in 2017, medical institutions had to provide comprehensive safety needles for medical staff in direct care with patient bodily fluids or blood. In 2012, the Department of Disease Control of the Ministry of Health and Welfare in Taiwan also included the use of safety needles as an item in hospital evaluation and infection control reviews. This allowed hospital supervisors to promote the use of safety needles to reduce occupational injuries to medical personnel and improve workplace safety. The Stop Sticks campaign is a communication intervention aimed at raising awareness among healthcare workers about their risk of workplace exposure to bloodborne pathogens from needle sticks and other sharps related injuries. This campaign has a positive impact on the knowledge, behaviors, and attitudes of healthcare workers. For this project, a clinical audit was performed using the Joanna Briggs Institute, Practical Applications of Clinical Evidence Systems, and the Getting Research into Practice approach. Five audit criteria that represented best practice recommendations for prevention of needle stick injuries were used. Baseline data were collected from 177 nurses 
in five acute wards. Secondly, the implementation of multiple strategies during a 20 week period of the project. Both baseline and post implementation audits were undertaken to determine the changes in practice. The pre-audit included the use of safety engineered injection devices and safety use and disposal of needles. There was found to be only 12 to 15% compliance, which represented poor compliance with current best practice criteria. Following the project implementation, the nursing staff were educated about the safe use and disposal of sharps. There were remarkable increases in compliance from 40% to 96.6%. Safety meet needle use increased from 16% to 95.5%. Safety operation procedures awareness increased from 14% to 96%. Needles not recapped after use increased from 47% to 85%. Placing used needles in the sharps collection box increased from 75% to 85%. This project suggests that standardized puncture prevention education and training enhanced nurses awareness in the acute ward. The authors did a great job in this study with increasing staff, safety, and education. Education should be ongoing and start at the school level. Needle stick injuries should be seen as a major preventable event in healthcare. Other ways to help bring awareness to the occupational hazard of needle stick injuries is required annual education modules and skills day. Healthcare workers should have support and resources provided at the local and state level. Developing pamphlets with important information about the risks and steps to follow in the event a needle stick injury occurs could prove beneficial. There must be consideration that nursing staff will change at some point, so ongoing education will help prevent needle stick injuries. In closing, I would like to thank Vanessa Martinez, Director of Virtual Nursing Care, for her help on this commentary. I would also like to thank Brenda Peterson, Telecritical Care Director, and Elizabeth Scruth, Regional Director of Clinical Quality Programs for allowing me to represent Telecritical Care for Kaiser Permanente.